right, so um, today I'm going to update you with my four week um, video diary. Uh, I have forgotten to mention the last couple that I did go back to work at the end of the two weeks. Um, I've had two weeks off. My job is quite physical, there's a lot of manual handling. Um, so, and then my work colleagues were really, really great. They um, helped me if I needed, they assured manual handling, there's always someone there. They did, they did all, they've done all the heavy lifting for me. I think it's actually going to be quite difficult for me to break the habit of them helping me. So, no, no, I can actually do it myself now. Um, but they have been really great and really, really supportive. Um, the other thing my work colleagues, are, I do work with a lot of women. Um, to find out how I, work, I work with a few men as well. And they are all so interested in my experience. Uh, the first day I went back, we had the photos out and they, they're, they're quite excited about you know, when I'm ready for them to have a little feel so they can feel what they feel like and so they've seen befores and afters and they've asked the questions about you know, what was it painful and how much did it cost, how do they do it, what size are they, what's the surgeon like, so I've fed back quite a lot of details you know, I've told him you know, Mr Richard is lovely and I would recommend him to anybody um, experience it wasn't too bad painful it's always going to be but not a bad experience on the whole but I do also think uh, possibly slightly individual individual I didn't cope as well as I thought I was going to on the day of surgery other people cope a lot better than I did um, some people may feel a bit, a bit more pain a few days following than I did but I think on the whole no not a bad experience you know, so it's a, a few of them are they might have to start saving to get it done. It's like, go for it, you know. You will not regret it, because I don't. And so at four weeks, I'm still sort of, you know, lying flat, still wearing the sports bras, still finding the sports bras digging in a little bit. Um, just sort of around the sides, you know. We're not digging in, just, you know, they feel slightly pinchy. Um, the prickly feeling um, seems to have died down now which is good um, but in exchange that I seem to have exchanged that for sore nipples um, quite dry around just, just below the nipples quite dry and itchy I'm really really itching this week um, so I have to put like a little tiny bit of moisturiser on just to um, try and relieve the itching a bit this is particularly at night is probably like, the most itchy for me um, again, I know I'm aware it's a good sign that you know all these things, but uh, in the middle of the night, slightly irritating, and all I want to do is sleep, and all my boobs want to do is itch. But I'm sure we'll get on top of that in the next uh, couple of days, and the next time I check in, I'm positive that'll all be gone. Um, again, still loving the boobs, absolutely over the moon. Um, yep, yeah, and I don't really know what else to say. They're just great. Um, I'll check with you next week for five weeks.